What is going on guys? I am Preston and it has been a while since I have uploaded a video. Uh, in this video I'm actually going to be showing you guys how I like to catch flounder. Me and Joe actually did go flounder fishing this past weekend and we didn't do too bad. We caught two fish. Uh, a lot, missed a lot, like a whole bunch. Had a lot of break offs, lost a lot of tackle. So I'm currently about to get on my laptop and I'm about to order some stuff for the flounder uh, season. I actually have a tournament this coming Saturday. It's Tuesday. We have school off. Thanksgiving breaks next week. I'm fishing Saturday in a tournament. I'm wade fishing with my buddy Colton Morante. Uh, we're going to fish off of his boat. The only problem is I would film, but the only problem is at the moment is that I kind of left my GoPro and Matagorda on our guy, on our uh, captain's boat. So that's a little bit of a uh, problem because I kind of need that. So I might buy a new one, see if I can get it from him, or see if I can borrow Jordan's for the weekend or something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but hopefully I'm able to film that. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but I got sponsored by a company called K Wigglers. They're a lure company. Throw it for trout and redfish, and I also catch some flounder on them. But mostly, still, I either throw chicken boys or I throw gold for flounder. Mm. And I'll show you all the rigs and everything that I like to use for flounder fishing, uh, how to catch them, where to go. I might even tell you all some of my spots. Uh, so, yeah. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm going to try and start making more videos. Um, and, yeah. So, like I said, subscribe, like the video, that would be awesome. And I will see you guys in a minute. Peace. Okay, so I just finished showering, and I'm very tired, and the camera is very close to my face. Um, as you know, today was extremely cold, um, and it hailed outside uh, in the area I live in, which is always fun. I'm tired. Okay, so I just, I'm making an order right now on Cabela's, actually. Some Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon leader. They didn't have 30 pound, which is what I normally use. So I got 25 pound. I have, I have some, my desk is a giant mess. I got stuff everywhere. I have some already right here that I've been using. I still have quite a bit, but. It only has 30 yards on it, and I use a lot of leaders. Because I'll have like 10 tandem rig tied on for the tournament. So yeah. I got some Berkeley Gulp Mantis Shrimp. The white, the pearl white and chartreuse. And the new penny chartreuse. I got two of each. Um, so pretty, kind of like pretty expensive. Um, those are the main two lures that I use for flounder. Okay, so yeah, the main flounder lures I use are Berkeley Gulp Mantis Shrimp, these two colors. Um, I will throw regular shrimp sometimes, but I like, I prefer the Mantis ones. I feel like they have a little bit more action and they get, catch more fish. Um, also, um, well, Also, the swimming mullet, they're okay. I throw them every once in a while. If there's a bunch of mullet in the area and I'm flounder fishing, then I will throw swimming mullet. But yeah, if I'm fishing a spot that's crowded with shrimp and mullet, I usually like to throw shrimp. Or if I'm waiting fishing a spot, I don't really see too much bait. I maybe see a few mullet pop in. And I know it's a pretty good flounder spot. I throw shrimp because I'm more comfortable with it. I catch more fish on it. Um, I feel it's reliable to me. Um, Y'all may feel differently. Uh, that's just my opinion. But, like, if I'm in a spot and there's big old things, a mullet moving around, I see these big schools blowing up, big old piles of mullet, I'll throw some of the mullet. But I have more shrimp than I do swimming mullet. So yeah, and then I also got, let's see, I got me some 
fish grips because I have no idea where mine are. I just got these plastic ones. These I think these are better than Boga's. Uh, you may feel differently, but I think these right here hold fish better. I've had Boga's redfish flip off the Boga's in the boat. I've never lost one, but I've always had them flip off. Joey's had a few that have fallen off the Boga's uh, back into the water. Good redfish while we're waiting. And then I also got some 4th ounce K-Wigglers jig heads. Um, actually sponsored by K-Wigglers. Um, they make great lures. This uh, I'm trying out their jig heads now. Um, it's actually one of their lures right here. It's a willow tail. That's what I caught my fish on. And the trout or the Matagorda fishing tournament I fished about two weeks ago. I weighed in the trout Joe weighted a redfish. It was a trout redfish final tournament. Uh, you're supposed to get all three. I was able to get him trout. Joe was able to get a redfish. And so yeah, he weighed in redfish, I weighed in trout. I got third, he got second. Um, he side casted it. Uh, I was out fishing topwaters and caught the trout. So yeah, he was looking for a flounder, but yeah, he caught a redfish because he saw a mullet side casted it. Or he saw a mullet push weight, or he thought it was a mullet that pushed weight and he cast it and it was a redfish, 27 inches. Uh, not a bad one. Um, so yeah, time to show you guys the setups I'm throwing this weekend for the tournament. Uh, I'm actually, as soon as I'm done with editing, or as soon as I'm done filming before I edit the video, I'm actually going to go and order, place that order, I have gift card from my bird page. So yeah. So first setup I'm throwing is actually one of my brand spanking new setups. Uh, one of the fishing guides that we fish with in Galveston down here a lot, he actually gave it to me for my birthday for free. So, shush. So, one of the guides down here in Galveston, I fish with a lot, Muddy Water Fish and Charter, his name is Joey Barra. He actually gave me this setup. And this, I just hooked myself. Um, the setup is a Shimano Chronarch 50E. I have, the uh, braid was mine, I have 30 pound hook spit uh, performance braid on here. I am sponsored by hook spit rods and hook spit braid. So yeah, I love this braid. Uh, it's about a month old. I might need to change it. And I have it paired with a, flip the rod over, G Loomis. I don't know if y'all can see that. G Loomis 66 medium. Now this setup is sweet. I love the setup. I'm sponsored by Hooksby Rods, but I still I still love this Loomis. I throw this Loomis like this is my main setup now um, for shot water. All the other rods I throw at Hooks Pit for like Redfish tournaments, all those other tournaments I throw straight Hooksby Rods. I just got this rod like a week ago for my birthday. So I mean, this is the main thing I've been throwing. It casts really far, it's really accurate, and it's a really qual like high quality rod. Um, and this is what I throw my tandem rig on. I'll show you my tandem rig. So, my tandem rig I have, so, I don't like to tie leader knots to like my main line. I feel like that always break. Um, I have a barrel swivel with a, I just tie it like this, I tie. That'll focus. Okay, I tie two lines to this, one short, one kind of long. So, this is what it looks like, the full rig. I need to cut the tag ends off. Um, I'll do that in a minute after the video. Um, so yeah, I these are just mirror lure jig heads, fourth ounce, I use two fourth ounce. There's a flounder fisherman that fishes down here in Galveston named Brian McPherson. Some of you guys may have heard of him before. Super, super, super good flounder fisherman. One of the best down here in Galveston. 
Uh, he actually, his YouTube channel is Brian McPherson. <laughs> um, and he uses crappie, like crappie jigs, crappie jig heads, and slays them. He says that if you get snagged, you can bend them and just bend them back so you don't break off. Um, I might try that soon, but in a tournament, I like these really stiff jig heads. I don't want to feel, I don't want to hook into a super giant flounder, 10 pound flounder. I doubt I'll do that, but in case I do, I want to have a good quality hook and a good quality hook set and a good pointed tip. And I don't want to risk a 10 pound flounder bending my hook um, as I'm rolling them in. So yeah, and I'll throw those two mantis shrimp gulp on this setup. The other setup I have rigged up for the tournament is actually a Carolina rig from Mullet because we might get bait because it's all one division and me and my buddy do not want to go wade fish with artificial the entire tournament and catch some pretty decent flounder and get smoked at the weigh-in by some dude who was sitting in the ship channel sitting somewhere super good flounder fishing or just even not even that best good flounder fishing soaking a mullet catching a 10 pound flounder catching a super big flounder two of them two really big flounder and us get whipped by them so we do not want to do that so we are going to throw a mullet or mud minnows one of the two we might we don't know for sure yet so i have that paired or i have that tied onto my concept 13 fishing concept tx on my hook spit Tempest rod. It's a 6.9 medium. Um, I really, really like this rod. I have it paired with 30 pound. It's either 30 or 20 pound hook spit performance braid. This is the gray one. Uh, they make gray, they make pink, and they make like a turquoise color. It's like the same color as the TX. Um, I like the gray the best. I feel like it works the best out of them. I don't know if there's any difference in any of them, but I just feel like that. It works the best and I like the color um, so the Carolina rig I use I just use a I don't know what size this is is a egg sinker weight a barrel swivel a 30 pound Berkeley Vit and Visix or Berkeley like the fluorocarbon whatever it is leader line with a plastic bead at the end and a kale hook this is actually a six dot kale hook it's kind of rusty so I'm going to cut it off and tie on a 5 aught kale hook, a Mustad, I believe, Mustad, one of the red ones, a 5 aught kale hook. We use those for croaker fishing, 6 aughts, because you don't ever miss trout. But I have some 5 aughts over there that are brand new, so I'm just going to tie one of those on. Um, so that way I don't have to worry about my hook breaking. Um, so yeah, that is, though, that is fresh line. I spooled that up last night, actually. I'm also about to order a bunch of lose reels. Our bass season is coming up, so is trout season, so is our teamed redfish events. And I'm about to order some hook spit black water fishing rods. Um, super good bass rods, super good redfish rods also. So I'm just gonna order a bunch of those as well as some lose. I think it's the $100 lose that I'm gonna get. It's the LFS, I believe. It's the black one. You can get it at Cabello's Academy Bass Pro. Um, lose tackle warehouse um pretty much anywhere and then i may get the team lose light it's the silver one with the just rubber and then cork handles um i really like that one it casts really far one of the guys that we fish with actually has a bunch of them he's sponsored by lose and he loves that reel i think it's awesome whenever we go with him i steal his rod from him and i throw it most of the day and slam the red fish on it um so yeah and the spots that I like to go to in Galveston for flounder fishing are Seawolf Park, Pelican Island Bridge, and just wade fishing any kind of shell, any kind of mud, muddy, shelly areas really works well this time of year. As well if you're trout fishing with a corky or a paddle tail, even a topwater. That is a great place to go. Also for redfish. Um, but if you throw a tandem rig over there, you most likely are going to catch a flounder. You can go fish marsh drains too. Marsh drains, you kill the flounder this time of year. I'll go on my kayak over next to my bay house in the marsh, and I'll just fish drains all day, and I will slam the flounder. I did it last year. I did it the year before. Um, I didn't do it the year before because I actually didn't have a kayak at the time. I got my kayak two years ago. Two days after I got my kayak, went down, 
fished the drains, had no idea what I was doing, um, and slammed the flounder. And ever since then, I've been hardcore flounder fishing. I even wrote a book on flounder one time just for fun, like an entire five page article all about flounder, where they live, how to catch them, when to catch them, when the run is. So yeah, but this November time in November, I think some people think December is the best time to catch them. I personally believe that November is the best time to catch flounder. I believe that they're running hard right now and that I honestly have the most luck in November. I catch the most of them in November. I caught about a five and a half pound flounder in October, which I was really surprised that he was like, or she, he or she was already there that early. I was expecting to pull up to that spot and just catch a few like little keepers, little males. But instead I pulled out a big giant female. Uh, and I was so excited to cut it on a gulp shrimp, purple and chartreuse actually. Um, crazy purple Cajun, I think is the color. So yeah, another good way to catch flounder is on a bucktail tipped with gulp. Joey actually gave me this the other day. He bought a bunch and gave me one. So yeah, those are really good. I fish those if I'm fishing out deep for flounder, like five to 10 foot to 20 foot for flounder. Throw them out and just jig them off the bottom. Also John Skinner, one of the best flounder fishermen. He has videos on bucktails and he also makes some. So y'all go check his channel out, I guess. Um, so yeah, gulp, chicken boy, two best lures to throw for flounder, um, in my opinion. I think gulp beats chicken boy, but that's just my opinion. Some of y'all may just only throw chicken boy, maybe y'all, some of y'all just only throw gulp. I think gulp catches everything. I've caught trout, giant trout on gulp. I've caught a lot. I've won most of my redfish tournaments on gulp and Berkeley products. Um, so yeah. That is going to end off this video. We are about to hit 270 subscribers, so please subscribe to the channel. Um, that would be awesome and greatly appreciated. Like the video as well, and comment below if you're glad that I'm back and uploading videos. Um, so yeah, I need to go and make this order for the tournament because it's Tuesday. I need it before Friday night because um, we have to get up early Saturday and get on the water. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, which will be sometime this week. I need to find someone's GoPro to use for the weekend. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.